Welcome back, everybody. Uh, late day at work, just got home. I had somebody post in the comments, you know, play the 4.0 lineup for uh, Russia. It's got some really good stuff. And they said the KV-1E. I was like, yeah, I know. They they have a wonderful 4.0 set up. Uh, unfortunately, the German line that had a 4.0, which is now 4.3 set up, where are we at? Used to have a really good 4.0 lineup. Now most of it's moved up. Uh, your T-34 went up. Broom bar, of course, went up. Panzer went up. There's some other stuff you can throw in there, but this is just the fun stuff that's in here. They also have the KV-1B, which is objectively better than the KV-1E, just due to armor. I mean, that supposedly has a better gun, but, you know, there's neither here nor there. This thing's tanky enough. You're a good wreck house. Yes, 4.0 for Russia is very fun. You get two really good T-34s. I generally don't bring both of them out. You don't need them. Uh, your SPA... I end up skipping some stuff. Let's see here. There's a lot of I didn't use. The ZSU. Okay, there it is. BTRD. And what else was there? 5.7, yeah. I haven't played this one. They added it later, but I... My SPA is there to kill tanks. And you can run this as a straight tech tree. I don't have the KV-1S. It's a really good tank. Uh, died to it plenty of times, you know. KV-2s, and not so much. The reload the rate really knocks them out. The KV-1... Nine second reloads, that's without an expert crew. Or you can just run a swarm of T-34s. If you look at the pin, granted this one has a different shell, but mostly 87, 85, 77. Yeah. You can just run a swarm of T-34s. Let's see, which one's got the cannon? There we go. There's the uh, 37 mm. You can kill tanks with this. Granted, it's SPA. Go down to your ZSU 37. A little bit better. It's really slow, though, over on top. But, I digress. We'll go into the match. I generally don't try to bring the KV-1E out the first, because people will hunt it. So, I'm going to take the T-34E. I think I still got to spade some stuff out on it. Low tiers are fun tiers. And it's not because you're seal clubbing. Granted, I know I've got the ITP, which is objectively better than most of the air stuff you can get. And you've got the IL-2s. But everybody brings fighters with bombs, especially P-47. You will learn to hate P-47s, <laughs> especially when they drop a thousand pounder right next to you. This would be a good start to bring the KV-1E, but we're not going to. So lower tiers people tend to bring their quote-unquote best tank, or the tank they'll do, I think they'll do the best in. Cool little trick is to bring the tank that you know is maybe not your best, but you can do well in. Shermans are a pain, uh, aim for the gunner port. Uh, you can aim for the cheeks of the turret, too. Depends on who you get spawned with. <clears throat> Low tiers, your arch enemy is going to be, used to be, Germany. Really good armor, really good guns. Now they have Sweden with really good guns and decent armor. And when I say real guns, their APCR just pins through everything. Yes, I'm a Bushmaster. So. Hey, look at that, T-34, STV. I forgot what it stands for, but... <clears throat> The reason I brought the ITP, uh, it doesn't get a bomb, but it gets a 37mm called the fridge launcher. It'll pin tanks. It really will pin tanks, and it's it's dumb. Cannon cast is OP at lower tiers. Granted, you know, things like the Wyvern down here are just really dumb good. Uh, the Year 2s are really good. The IL-2 used to be amazing, but there's so many fighters now, and with how slow it is, you're not going to do too well. What was it? The BF-110 is just insane. There's probably somebody looking down this road right here thinking about it, so we're not going to go that direction. Go over here. So many T-34s. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> uh, the old Great Battalions. Alright. BT-7 was trying to get points for Caps. There's a KV-1. That's a good tank. Remember 9 second reload? Very tanky. I think this is actually like an entire point in 1.0 where it needs, from where it needs to be. T-34s have some really wonky angled armor. They really can do it. Tank destroyed. Sorry, Mr. Wolfman. See right here? Binoculars are your friend. Hanged a little high. That looks like a tank destroyer. Got his tracks, kind of, sort of. He did 
did get ours. <clears throat> I'm going to angle slightly. There he is. Oh, nope. Ah, uh, the Panzer 39. Panzer Grenade 39, whatever that is. Really good pin, really good uh, after effect. But hey, we capped his own and we got a target. <laughs> you know what that means. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the minimum blow? Neat. I thought it took less than that. <clears throat> yeah, Germans are going to be your arch enemy, followed by the Swedish. And then you've got this thing, and I totally didn't set the bombs up right. It's supposed to have a two second delay, which means we'll just have to scream down and uh, shoot at people. This overheats really well unless you're using the full uh, mechanical controls. You can open up your radio all the way, or you can just drop it down to 95% and call it a day. It'll go to yellow on your uh, engine oil temperature, but it won't burn up. So, we know they're out here in the woods and stuff, so we can actually play around. And this is one of the few BRs where you can have fun in your cast and kind of dominate with it. Maybe not like OMGOP, unless you're in a Wyvern or, you know, a Corsair, America. <laughs> Corsairs are rockets. Just any loadout are just nasty in this BR. Is that somebody actually hanging out there? That's a turret. That's a turret. We need to be careful. We can't get machine gun down. SPA is not really effective against aircraft, but uh, it can work out pretty well if you're going straight towards them. I was going to get that tank down there, but... Where's this guy at? I just lost him. Leave him with a toy. And uh, that's why I said I need to fix my bombs. And there's a fighter behind me. <laughs> That was all my fault. <clears throat> I didn't set my bomb fuse delay. We will take out the KV-1. People have grabbed their cast now, so you got to be careful. We have two of the caps. Enemy team is raging. Um, we are doing what we need to do. <clears throat> the PEH ad. If this would have been... But... 6.0, he would have had a nuke for like 6.7. Yeah. Somebody's got the IL-8 out. Nice. Excuse me while I clear my throat. <clears> throat> the pawn up here is just kicking my ass. Uh, like, I, this is terrible. This is terrible. But yeah, the 4.0 lineup is stupid strong for Russia. Granted, um, enjoy it while you can because the next, uh, yeah, you get to see when you start getting 7.0. You'll wish you were playing Germans. But Germany's got the flip side too, you know. The 5.7 area really kind of hurts. I do like how we have area effect teamwork stuff on this. I knew that was coming. A Pyrominsky. I knew that was coming though. Do we have a backup? Do we have a backup? Nope. We're zooting it. <laughs> I didn't expect to get immediately cast, but it wasn't unexpected. So he's over there. He dropped both bombs on me. He saw it was a baby one e so that's all part of it. Yeah, it's all part of it. And this is for memes right here. We love memes. This is our bucket tank. I have a bucket on the back there as you can see. And the cannon's actually got a decent amount of pin on it. Um, at this BR and lower it can really terrorize people. You want to get on the flank though. Or use friendlies as bait, armor, etc. This is like the first eye of the. Not really, but. You know, we don't need to be zooming up into here, but we'll take it. The machine gun can't kill us. There's an enemy right here. Thank you for the teammate who decided to flip me. Through the turret. It happens though. This is not City Fighting Tank. <laughs> we'll play one more match. We're having fun. Alrighty, back to it. You know what? We'll spawn the KV 1E this time. And I'll either be killed immediately or we'll get some kills. It can tank. 
Uh, the reason I put bushes on it is it's got a few flat spots. You don't want people to shoot. All about them angles. Now, if you're in the German one, you can straight up just face tank everything. And it's wild. That's one thing I would love to get. Like, I've never got it out of any of the event boxes or anything. We're going to go to B. We're a little bit slow, so we want to go B. Generally, I would spawn and go A, but I'm <laughs> tired of the shenanigans on the fields. We'll avoid those. I think there's actually a skin for this I need to pick up a bunch of. Oh, KV1E, bros. Let's go B. Now, I have some videos on the same tanking just extremely well. Now, take that armor and increase it by, like, what, another 10 millimeters? And give it a German gun. And I understand why the KV... IV, or one of the IV is just insanely good. You don't get artillery, which you really don't need. I have 22 rounds of ammunition in this thing, and you'll see if I actually end up doing good in it, you, uh, you'll use up a lot of that ammo. It's my reload time on this. Down to 6.6 .6 seconds, that's not bad at all for this tier. I don't think I have a golden throw on this, and I don't have an expert. If you want to give me a push there, thank you, bro. I do need the help. He's slightly faster than I am. <clears throat> KV-1S, 4.0. A really good tech tree tank. It's honestly more tankier than I am, except for that faceplate right there where you see uh, the light. That's the shoot me to kill me spot. As long as we don't get flanked, we might be able to take B. Shenanigans can happen everywhere. We're gonna go hug the rock. So the only thing up here will be our turret. And we have quite a few crew members, so... Okay. So we need to go ahead and push forward so our teammate can get on the cap with us. Hello. Yeah, I saw your shenanigans. Port. That's a rare tank, rareish. I do like rockets. I'm not gonna lie, I do like rockets. We're gonna go straight back. We're bringing the T-34 for the pain. Like I said, it can be a tanky tank. Sometimes it's not. That's all right. We're playing low BR, so we're really just here for fun. Like they're playing the Kalopi. I don't know how to pronounce that. The Rocket Sherman. It's not a good tank, but it's a meme tank and it's fun. So, there's that. The reason I was hitting his uh, rocket rack with machine guns is I think once they're yellow, they can't fire them. I know a lot of the rocket stuff that once it's slightly damaged, it just doesn't work anymore. I was a little too gung ho, but hey, we have got the caps. At least one of them. Looks like we're swarming A. Generally, you'll notice people not quitting in lower tiers. Like, we got a guy that quit here. He's playing his KV-2. Maybe it's the only tank he has unlocked. Uh, what level is he? Level 10. That's probably his only tank. And he's like, hey, I just lost my best tank. Blah, blah, blah. Our KV-1E bro's doing well. You can see on the kill feed down there. So, yeah. Generally, you'll have more people playing longer. The matches feel better. They're just fun. I do enjoy low tier. Like, not the curb stomp, but just to go back and play. And I still have stuff to spade out, and that's free RP. Once you get a full line spade out, it may not be much, but hey. Maybe you have a friend that joins War Thunder. And hey, he's starting out low, and you really don't want him getting a $70 premium, so you're like, hey bro, we'll just uh, grind out low tier together. Oh, that's that powerful, uh, oh, that's a Sherman. I'm not in a good spot. Really not in a good spot. Yep. That's the same guy that killed me earlier. In the same... No, a different Sherman. No, I actually got killed by the F6F. Alrighty then. Zoot zoot. He's mad he didn't get the kill. This thing more likely can't kill the Sherman unless I'm going straight to the machine gun pole. And y'all get to see me being bad at low tier. 
So that's gotta be worth something. Uh, is that cast coming in? Yes, yeah, Yak 9. Maybe he crit him with those shots? Maybe not. I got killed twice by the same guy. <laughs> Captain Wild Bill Kill. Man. 2 out of 10 name. Uh, he was camping in the city, so they would be They go up and get the cat. <clears throat> mm, damn you, cast. No clue where that came from. And we're out of the match. Uh, I'm getting pushed. The Panzer H. We still have another tank. We still have another tank. We do know he's over here. The pin on this round is a slightly still BMD8, no, <clears throat> BR350 SP. Still got a decent pin. We'll be within 500, so we've got 87. We have 87. This thing is old. Which one is this? Yep, the Great Italian. Yeah. Not one of the oldest, but it is still a old, uh, old premium tank. Back when they were more unique than useful. And then it's a T-34 that had a winter skin on it. Got him back. Oh, that's the SAV, yep. Autoloader. <laughs> ah, he got bad. He already got back. Um, do we want to burn a backup? Not really. Not really. But, it's fun. Yeah, there's some good 4.0. Don't play like I do. It can be strong. It can be strong. I really have had some SEAL Club and games in the KV-1. And uh, you can ruin some people's day with it. But it's a fun tank. I still say the German one is better. Let's go check out... Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? Click here. We'll check out the armor. Customization. Armor. <clears throat> we'll swap it. Something else so you don't see the trees. Faceplate. 75. 90. 30 on the middle, 30 mils on the side. Cheeks are weak. Flat plate right here can be pinned, but it is kind of sloped. Sloped. But you have spaced armor on the inside right here. And that will save you a ton. You're not supposed to shoot the turret cheeks. Okay, so 30 on the outside. 75 on the back and on the inside. Let's see here. There we go, 75. So you have 30, then 75. So you're well protected. Now, <clears throat> remember that 30 and 75. Let's go back over to Germany. Same rank, same everything. Armor. 30, 75. There's something else in here. Maybe the turret's the same. Let's see here. Yep, okay. 75 on the rolled armor. Spaced armor, 25. Faceplate gets... Can't remember where it's at. I do know it ends up being more armored than the KV uh, 1E. Sloped, and the inside of the turret. I can't remember right now, but I do know this ends up being way more tanky, and the round on it. So let's get up here. It's actually a what Swedish KV one uh, modifications. 350B. Yep. I thought I got a different round. It might be the 350B I'm thinking of. But that's what all the T-34s get. So your weapon's not necessarily better than theirs, but it feels like it when you play against it. Yay, you get some stuff unlocked. May as well, may as well. That's me derping around and some low tier stuff. What am I looking at? What? Turn this off here. But yeah, every now and then I just top back down to lower tiers and have fun. I mean, why not? You grind these vehicles out, you have them there. I really enjoyed the World War II stuff more than anything, in all honesty. Yeah, I play a lot of top tier now because it's just progression of the games. Like, all right, I'm top tier. Let me 
waste my time up here, get the stuff I want. Hyper fixate on stuff, which I'm bad about, and then go do the next one. Oh, I could have got a boat. What was this over here? Oh, the bad turn decal. That would have been so cool. I think guys are trying to tell me they're going to give me a boat. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. But alright guys, until next time, have fun.